Good morning, everyone. You're tuned into Drever Vision. All Paul, all the time. Brought to you by your friends at the Propagator Media Corporation. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I'm expected to fill 24 hours of airtime on my own every day, but I am a professional and I will honor my contractual obligations. Even those contracts which were uh, perhaps signed in the midst of an overly festive welcome back party after two years spent on overseas assignments in, well, not the most hospitable corners of the world. I'm looking at you, Liberia. <laughs> you could really stand to uh, brush up on the, the tourist trade. Jeremy Raisin, sir. Jeremy is my ear to the ground. He's out there. He's uh, hearing what the kids are saying. Today we're talking about narcotics. Drugs. Yeah. The bad pony. I'm going to throw a few things here. I've, uh... Please do. Pony. I, I, I got this from the, uh, this is the White House Drug Policy dot gov slash street terms. Okay. We've got a few things here I want to ask you about. Sure. Have you ever smoked a joystick? I have. Okay. What about the Jolly Green? Done it. What about the Kansas grass? Yes. What about the Kate Bush? Done it. Kentucky blue? Yep. Macaroni and cheese? Twice. That's a, that's a $5 pack of marijuana and a dime bag of cocaine. Yes, it is. Manhattan silver? Uh, we call it the Tin Foil Express, but I know what you're talking about. Maui Wowie? Yes. Lobo? Yep. Loco Weed? Yes. Love Boat? Oh, yeah. That's a marijuana dipped in formaldehyde. Yes, it is. PCP. Yes. KGB, Killer Green Bud. Good stuff. Good shit. I love it. Stinkweed. Mm-hmm. Nah. Oh, only when it's cut with something. Sweet Lucy. Mm-hmm. Scrub. Mm-hmm. Sherman Stick. Right here. Go on. Red Bud. Yep. Laughing Weed. Yes. Squirrel. You got any? Rosemary. Yes. A lot. Kick sticks. You ever smoked a kick stick? Stay away from as much as I can. Well, that's a marijuana cigarette. Fine, you can go the purity way, but that is that that's uncut. Okay. I Let me throw it. a few more things at you. Kona Gold. Uh I like it, but I don't respect it. One of the highlights of my career was Tomorrow Day. An underrated little gem that I hosted for the Propagator Affiliate in Milwaukee. Back in the days when uh, many cities actually had their own local television channel. It was almost 30 years ago, and I was an idealistic young pup. A uh, far cry from the seasoned journalist you see today. Ironically, Tomorrow Day focuses on the fantastic mysteries of the future. And as I recall, my predictions were generally on the money. Let's watch, shall we? Hello and welcome back to Tomorrow Day, or as I like to call it, the first show of the rest of your life. This is the part of the show where I give you a quick glimpse of what I believe the future might hold. Here's one, portable music players. Uh, you can't drag the jukebox out, uh, but what if it was the size of a, say a briefcase? Plug in your earphones, you're good to go, and you could carry you know, uh, four or five tapes worth of music in there. Imagine, if you will, a, a clothing washer and a dryer stacked. In the future, telephones will be completely portable. You've got your telephone here plugged into the wall. Uh, I'm going to the beach. Unplug your phone, take it with you, plug it in at the beach. Then uh, you'll of course be assigned a, a new number, depending on, on where you're plugging it in. I don't know how they would connect you with, uh, or know where you are. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm a dreamer, I'm a dreamer. You know, I just, I just make this stuff up sometimes. It doesn't always work out. 